just crashes. These are violent um, crashes that are killing multiple people. A father who lost his son in a DUI crash urges people to stop drinking and getting behind the wheel. This comes during a recent spike in deadly DUI crashes in the county. 10 News anchor Itika Milanis explains the plan to turn things around this holiday weekend. Sean McNamer and his best friend were walking on a sidewalk in Lakeside. When a vehicle jumped the curb, hit him and uh, killed him. The driver took off. Sean's father, Larry, happened to be nearby and drove up on the scene seconds after it happened. And saw my son laying in the road. Had no idea it was him. What he told me next gave me the chills. In looking at the body, I started hearing a voice in my head that was repeating itself saying, this is one of your boys. Sean was just 15. His father has never been able to get that image out of his head. That was July 1993. And in some respects, it there are days when it seems like yesterday. McNamer feels the number of DUIs is getting worse. And he's right. Today, during a news conference, top local law enforcement officers said there has been a spike in fatal DUI crashes this summer. Since May, 11 people have been killed. They have left families without mothers and fathers and taken children away from their parents forever. District Attorney Bonnie Dumanis calls it the summer of shame. San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman is promising extra officers on our roads this Labor Day weekend and more DUI checkpoints. For those that make that decision to drink and drive, you will be arrested and you will go to jail. More upsetting to McNamer. They're not just crashes. These are violent um, crashes that are killing multiple people. Itika Milanis, 10 News. And McNamer says investigators found the person who hit and killed his son. She was a 27 year old mother of three. The judge gave her the maximum sentence at the time, 13 and a half years. She served seven years and is now living in Santee.